Vanderbilt lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. One yard loss for the halfback. That is a loss of three yards. That'll bring up second and From their own 24 yard line. Second down. Mike, two. Watch two. Here we go. Two. Black and five. Handoff inside, and he's quickly brought down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it third. the blockers and drag the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Fumble, loose ball. Looks like the offense has it. Gets to about the 47-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Results in an easy first down. From the 32 yard line, first down. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Call That'll bring up second and 11. First and ten. Ball on the sixteen. He gets out to about the fifteen yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. It right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Three down, three down. Mike, two. Watch two. Let's go. He's 
tackled at about the seven yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. They'll go ground. There's a fumble. Now the defense has it. The safety. And he has it on the corner. Has some daylight. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. From the 15 yard line, it's Mike second 17. down. Mike 17. Mike 17. Yeah. Blue 80. Slings it out and it gets tipped. That was a nice, nice play to close on the ball like that. You can't teach that kind of reaction, it's just natural ability. Wrapped up for the sack. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Louisville could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in a college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. And we've seen that from both of these defenses so far. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27. Watch two. Watch two. And they make the stop at the 38. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Back to 47 yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's into the open field, and he's tackled at about the 39 yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question, when you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter, or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 3-0, Louisville. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Mike 2, Mike 2. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Red 18. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it second. From the 38-yard line, second down. Choose the mic. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it fourth and long. 
After the sack, it's now fourth and long. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Louisville holds a field goal lead. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at about the 31. That's a game 11 on the play. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. And down he goes around the 48 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Scrambling around. There's a missed tackle. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Nice, nice, sweetheart. Mike 17, Mike 17. Get up. Hey, motion backfield. Down. Motion, motion. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Focus, defense, focus. Three and eight. Easy, 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 easy. He's going to go for the home run. It's broken up. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the field. Takes the ball inside. Tackle at about the 21. Call it a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. Let's go! He gets another carry. Tackled for a loss. That's a loss of two yards. That makes it third and 11. He throws a dart to the left. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Sack. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Ready. Steps out of bounds at about the 41. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Oh, excellent punt. 
This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. They, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Louisville is up a field goal. Tackle that reduces pickup. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 25 yard line. Mike 17. Get that. Complete. He's got room. He's to the 40. Brought down at about the 49. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Slings it. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Louisville is going to have to use their second time out of the half. This one's going deep to the end zone. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20. Great concentration to haul it in. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Here's a quick throw. Going for it all to the end zone. A great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. And they'd at least like to have some yardage here and give their kicker a chance to tie this game. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's at the 30. Throws it in a hurry. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. They're back in the red zone after fumbling on their last visit. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. So we've played two quarters. And this one's knotted up at three. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Locked up on the scoreboard at halftime and not really much separation in terms of who's had momentum in the game either, David. It seems as if every move one team's made has been countered by the other. 
Yeah, tick for tack. You score, I score. You hold, I hold. And, you know, this is uh, this is two great teams going at it. And that's what's – it's always fun to see the chess match go back and forth. And, you know, the uh, momentum swing one way and all of a sudden swing back the other way. But very rarely do you see it go back and forth, back and forth. And now we got it all gridlocked at the half. And it's a good ball game. And it's going to be fun to watch in the second half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk. Herb Street ready with a call. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. There's a strike complete. He's down. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down, three down. Like 17. Like 17. Seven. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. That makes it first and ten. Mike 17. Mike 17. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. The reception. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hit immediately. Call it a gain of five yards. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Damn, kill. If you kill it, motion me out. And he's level at the 24-yard line. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend the receiver. Here you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. That's good for the game, 12 yards. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Louisville is looking to go up by three. It's up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
It's been an impressive game by this defensive lineman. You're right, Brad. And I'll tell you what, I think they're going to be a lot of offensive coordinators are going to have a big sigh of relief when this kid finally graduates. It's getting to the point now where it's just men against boys. This offensive line can almost try to do anything that they want. The, the thing I always say is that when you're on recess and you're in eighth grade and there's this one big guy that nobody else can block and he's just bigger, stronger, and faster, that, that's, that's what a dominant defensive player can do to an offense. They just can't, there's nothing they can do to stop it. Got a man, watch out here. Down the sideline. And he's finally shoved out at the 38 yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. Louisville is up by three. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up second and they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Three down, three down. Mike 17, Mike 17. And they make the stop right around the 30. And the tailback picks up the first down. You like how the offense is playing intelligent, controlled football here using the safe run to get the first. Mike 17. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. It's second and 13. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackle made at the 38. Number 11 makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Three down, three down. Mike 17, Mike 17. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Make it so we're looking at another third down here. Louisville has a three-point lead. Going long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Good outside run there. The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. Louisville leads it 6-3. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. Motion, motion. There's a strike complete. 
second down. The 47 yard line. Seven yard line. First down. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That brings up second and 13. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He goes out of bounds. Right around midfield. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Three down, three down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch three. Ready. He's had a good game, scaring passes for 100 yards. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. Jumbo set. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. And down he goes at the 24. Gain of two on the play. That'll, That'll make it third. Here's the eighth play of the series. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Ready. Ready. Might have been some early movement up front. Red 18. False start. False start. Offense. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle around the 15-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. Second and three. Ball on the eight. They're packed in tight on the line. He's taken down around the nine yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Just under three to go in regulation. to that quickly. That's a great tackle at the five-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Big opening. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he converts the extra point. A 12 play, 84 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. All well, these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Well, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Zips it to the back. 
Mitchell an open field tackle. The D sniffs off a screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. A little over a minute in the game. for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Brought down right around the eight-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. We've got second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. He's tackled around the two-yard line. Louisville's called their final timeout. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Gets out to about the 21. Louisville's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. And he is drilled at the 15-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. The spike will stop the clock. Well, this is a quarterback's nightmare. It's third down and very long, and they really need a first down right here. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. First down. Yeah, the 87. Kill, kill. Raider, Raider. Caught over the middle. And they make the stop at the 45 yard line. Number two makes the set at the 45 yard line. First down. Kill, kill. Yeah, the 87. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. Caught again, 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Blue seven. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Here they come. 
Brett, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back at heart. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away. Under pressure. And he hits him hard at the 47. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out and block it. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. Louisville staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Six. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.